Hey beauties, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we have a new product that we're trying, the Match Filter Serum Tint Foundation. Let's do this. I am excited to try this because it is a brand new match product. So what is match? Match is actually the new rebranding from our magics line. Ta-da! A lot of the magics products that we have grown to know and love over the last year and a half, maybe two years is now slowly being rebranded to match, which is exciting. I really like the name change to be honest with you. I think it fits better. It doesn't sound like something else. For those who get it, get it. For those who don't, that's okay. Let's leave it at that. So anyways, this is the Matte Filter Serum. So this is supposed to be a soft powder matte finish foundation. It is a buildable wear that provides you between a sheer to a medium coverage, which is exactly what I'm always looking for. I don't like things to be too heavy on my face unless I'm going to do a performance, but usually I like something really sheer or there's many days I don't even wear any foundation. So I think this will be right up my ass. So it is formulated with skin loving ingredients such as hyaluronic acid and we all know how amazing hyaluronic acid is because hyaluronic acid is one of those ingredients that can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water so it's going to give you that burst of hydration. It's also formulated with a tri berry complex which is filled with antioxidants antioxidant filled with antioxidants and then finally it also contains vitamin e which will help with hydration and keeping your skin nice and smooth so this does come in nine different shades and the one that i have for you today is called fair light i chose this one because it's a soft it does have a soft yellow undertone I still can't quite fully figure out my undertone. I, I'm pretty sure I'm yellow based. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm quite sure I'm yellow based. You see my cheeks are pink, but no, I'm quite yellowy. So that's why I chose this one instead of the light because the regular light one has a soft golden peach undertone. So I'm trying to really learn how to work with my undertones. If you guys have any tips with your undertones, let me know. Um, you can use either the included sponge or you can use a brush. So I'm going to do half of my space with half of my... God, my words are getting super tongue-tied today. I want to use half of my face with this sponge applicator, and then the other half I'm going to try using the new FMG brushes that I just got in that you probably would have already just seen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open it, swatch it, and then try it out. All right. Ooh, it's actually bigger than I thought. Doesn't that look nice? It has like more of a matte finish. It's not completely matte finish, but it's not like a super shiny finish, which is great because it helps with fingerprints. And so today we're going to find out whether or not I've met my match. Is this going to be a match made in heaven through foundation? I'm so cheesed. You open it this way like so, I think. Yes. Okay. Let's open this up. All right. Very pretty sponge applicator. There is a mirror here. It just has that film on it and it does has the tab so you can pull it off. I'm not going to do it now because then you'll see my setup and that's not a very pretty look. So we'll do that in a bit. And then once you do that, you can just plop this beauty out and pull and let's check out this color. Ooh. Okay. This is my face here. You can see that I mean, I have freckles, I have some redness, I have real skin, I have some texture going on, and that's all okay. So let's see what this baby does. First, we do the swatch. So for the swatch, I'm just going to do... Oh, okay. It's very creamy, actually. That's very yellow. Oh, right, well, let's find out. Okay, it, it skies on really well, really easily. Okay. All right, and so let's hope I picked the right color <laughs> or you'll see a pure demarcation on my face. All right, let's do this. So here we go. I don't smell anything, which is really nice for those who have scent sensitivities. And so here we are. Ooh, ooh, I think I picked a really good color actually. Okay, so first off, we're going to do half of my face like this. I'm also going to see how well it wears under makeup later. Right, so I'll finish up my face afterwards. So da 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 da. Let's see. Did they say pat or did they say rub? Swipe the sponge into the foundation and press into skin into a patting motion. All right, so I swipe and then you pat. 
I just did my skincare on my face and I don't have any other beauty products on my face. You'll see that I have some redness going on here. I had a very, very, very angry friend who visited me. <laughs> not, not a human friend, like a pimple friend. <laughs> just so you know, I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not getting hurt physically. Um, gosh, anyways, I had a pimple there. Um, and so I went back and I visited my dermatologist and unfortunately my folliculitis infection did come back. He thinks it actually could be stress induced. And so, yeah, you know, I have a really hard time patting guys. Honestly, I do. I really, really do because I don't know. I just feel like, am I patting it correctly? Am I patting it evenly? What if I don't have enough product in here? Why can't I wishy-washy and then pat? But if they say pat, I'm going to pat. Maybe this is just something I need to keep practicing and doing so that I can pat. Are you a patter or are you a swiper? Let me know in the comment section. All right. Ooh, okay. So here is the first layer done. Let's take a peeky poo. Oh, it actually did pretty good job. I think I picked a pretty good color, actually. So they say it's suitable for all different skin types. So... Um, I think that if you have drier skin, it's going to be good because I have the vitamin E, the hyaluronic acid. But this is half of my face with the product and half my face without. Actually, it is a really nice coverage. So this is more of the natural light from my window right now. You can see how it hides a lot of the redness. And that's with a fairly quick application of it. I mean, I could blend this top part a little bit better. Mm. I might need a primer because do you see how it's kind of like sitting on my face there? I don't like that a little bit. So I wonder if I put a primer if that will make a difference. But that's me patting it in. It feels really nice though. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, like I said, it feels really nice. I think the color is a great, great, great match. Right, let's see after my face warms up the product a little bit. If I like how it blends in a bit more. Oh, right, you know what? I'm going to try with the buff, the buffing method. So here we have the FMG new makeup brush. This one here is the complexion blending brush. I'm going to use this and I'm going to try buffing it on this side to see if I like how that works out better. So here we go. So you said swipe and then buff. I'm going to use my other mirror. And they said start in the center and work outwards. Honestly, I just got these brushes in. Like, well, I got these brushes in a little bit ago. I'm loving using them. Like, super loving it. You can always tell the most around my nose area because I have the most redness right there. Let's take a peek. I want to show you the best I can. Look how much better it is with the makeup brush. Like seriously, this side, as you guys saw, I the only difference was I just used this brush. Everything on both sides of my face, exact same skincare products, sunscreen, blah, 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 blah. But do you see how much better this side, it looks like it worked into my skin as opposed to this side. It almost feels like it's sitting on top a little bit more. So for this particular product, I would recommend using this more so than the actual sponge itself. Now you could try dampening the sponge. I don't know if that'll make a difference or you could also try, um, you can use the sponge for touch-ups, but I think as a first application, I would recommend using the brush more. So this is the brush side. And then this is with the sponge. So yeah, you see how it almost feels like it's like slipping off my face a bit more here. And if I just, I might have dried up a little bit by now, but yeah, I definitely like it more with the brush than I do with the sponge, hands down. Okay, so that's the application of the product itself. I'm going to leave it like so, and then I'm going to do makeup on top of it so you can see what, how it sits under makeup. I'll be right back.
All right, and we are done. So this is the final look. What do you think? What do you think? Overall, what I did notice was that it, when I was applying, especially the blush, the uh, glow beads, it's very dewy, but I did realize that I forgot to do my finishing powder. I normally do, um, if I, if I have like a full face on uh, lately, what I've been doing to set it is that I've been doing the N120 Cashmere Complexion Longwear Powder, which is this one here. This one is in the shade N120. I did forget to put this on, so that might make a bit of a difference for how it would feel when I'm applying like the glow beads because I did feel that it was dewy. It is a very dewy finish, guys, so if you like that feel, awesome. Now... As for the makeup itself, it does lay really nicely on it, and I think that by doing all the rest of the makeup, it did kind of help it buff in a little bit more. Oops. What's the problem with glasses? It did feel like it did buff in a little bit more, especially on the side that I used the sponge as opposed to the brush which was helpful. Now, I might actually try a setting spray with this. I've never really used a spreading space, a spreading, a spreading spray, a setting spray on my face before. I could give that one a try to see if that will help um, not let, let it move because it did move with my glasses, which it, see, it did it again. Yeah, so it is moving with my glasses. Um, it's just a little frustrating, but I mean, we'll just kind of have to figure it out as it works out. And if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know in my beauty group on Facebook. So if you haven't yet, make sure you do jump over there. By the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Yeah, it feels really nice. I mean, my face isn't itchy and I have a semi-sensitive skin. I do like this color. I think that I am yellowy undertone and this is actually a really great pairing of color for me. I feel that the side that I use the brush overall and to buff it in overall it did set it in better so now yeah overall do i recommend it i do recommend it if you like this type of foundation in the sense of using a brush buffing it in something that's very dewy uh, you, it is also paraben and talc free so if that's important to you that definitely this is a really good one as well it does feel nice and light on my skin which is another thing that i really like i don't like it when things feel really heavy or cakey so i do feel it is a very comfortable wear i'm going to have to try it again a few times using different things underneath maybe trying with a primer without a primer with a setting spray without a setting spray um or also even just do, using the finishing powder or a translucent powder on on top just to really make sure things don't move I would I can do those updates for you guys if you would like to hear them but if you're looking to find all the nine shades that are available make sure you do go to the link in the description box to check them out um, I also do like the fact that it has no scent so for people who are scent sensitive this is a fantastic product I spill absolutely nothing yeah, absolutely nothing with it whatsoever. Now, if you're a pro person who loves scented products, this might not be the right fit for you. But hey, I like it because I have a scent sensitivity and I know a lot of my clients would also like it as well. I do really like the finish, especially on this side. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not settling into my f lines here too much. Especially this side. Like, especially the side that I buffed it in. I feel like it's, it's not settling which is nice. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do reach out. I am here to help. If you guys are interested in becoming a beauty boss, make sure you do either jump over to my other YouTube channel, Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick, or find me on Facebook, and we can book a free 15-minute consultation to see if Avon is the right fit for you. If you guys have any product recommendation, please do let me know in the comment section so that I can get them and I can try them to the best of my ability. Full disclaimer, guys, I am not a beauty expert. I am a beauty enthusiast who just loves to play with makeup. I have no formal training. I've just been doing my own makeup for years and years and years since my dance competitive days. So, and I like what I do. Works for me. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.